He can go down, okay? Yeah, he's already asleep. Lucky, I thought we had a nice time tonight. We did. Then what's the problem? We shared two children. It's only natural that we spend time together as a family. Don't, don't do this. We can't make plans for trick-or-treating like we're some kind of typical happy family. Why not? What's stopping us? History. I was going to try to explain this the other night, but we can't find our way back to the way things were. Too much has happened. And, I, you know, I was trying to start over with Siobhan, and I can't just... Wait, is that what this is about? You can't spend time with me because Siobhan died? No, I can't ignore everything that's happened. You know, the way I've, I, I, I treated her, the, my responsibility, my addiction... Okay, maybe, maybe you don't just blame yourself. Maybe you blame me, too. I mean, may as well just get it all out there. I'm the one who gave her the wrong meds in the OR. I, I had a fight with her on the stairs. I drove her into a, a head-on no, collision. You would never intentionally hurt I don't want to speak ill that. of the dead, but lucky, she was jealous. It's as simple as that. She refused to see what was right in front of her, that the two of you would never work, because what we share is just too strong. Strong doesn't automatically translate to healthy. I mean, it's obvious in our case. I don't want to hear about how dysfunctional we are. Elizabeth, come on. Every single time, it became toxic. And not just for us, but for a lot of people. And I don't want to put my kids through another grand reunion, only to have a, a heart-wrenching breakup. We made mistakes, but we can do better. It's too late. No, it's not. Not if we love each other. Love me? Don't, don't do this. Do you love me? It's a vicious cycle, okay? We get drawn back together, and then it all goes to hell. The, the, the good times get shorter, the bad times get more destructive. Siobhan saw right through both of us. She knew that this case was just my chance to, to flirt with my addiction, just like she knew that I, I would come running to you for comfort and that you'd let me. Because it's worth anything, isn't it? It's worth any risk to be together. Our lives, our kids' lives, the innocent bystanders who, who get caught beneath the wheels of, of this train wreck that's us. You make it sound so ugly. Well, addiction is ugly, Elizabeth. And that's, that's what we have. That's what this is. It's an addiction. It's a mutual addiction. We're like two junkies. And we've gotten past the point of no return. I was supposed to be done. Guilt and grief and self-blame and how they can turn things into something they never were. Well, are you going to deny that we've been anything but dysfunctional and destructive? Are you going to deny this? Can you tell me that these two... Come on, this is a picture, okay? It's a picture of the past. It's, it's a memory, okay? A beautiful memory, but that's all it is. What are you, about what are you doing? This book is filled of pictures of you and Cameron. This one is Aiden, the son you're just getting to know. Doesn't he deserve to have the best childhood we can give him? Of course. Of course he does. But you know what? It's going to be a hell of a lot worse for him if we get back together and then split up. What about Jake? No one will ever understand what it felt like to lose him except the two of us. I'm never going to forget him. I I'm never going to forget him or what he meant to us. Just like I'm, I'm never going to forget Cam and Aiden. I'm, I'm not. I'm always going to be there for them. Just not for me. Elizabeth, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not trying to hurt you. Stop. Stop pushing me away. Stop saying things you don't believe. We have to let go. You didn't think so when you were shot up with drugs and I was the only one who could reach you. I was hallucinating. You could have asked for Siobhan, but you didn't. You wanted me. 
you could have gone back to your house, but you went to our our church. I didn't. I I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Exactly. You couldn't think. All you could do was feel. And you went to a place you knew I would be able to find you. That's the sort of connection we share. Lucky, you're letting your grief take over you. And in time, Siobhan's death isn't going to be quite so painful. You're going to heal. her memory to move on. I am moving on, Elizabeth. I'm leaving. Leaving? Where? When? When will you be back? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I just know that I have to go, and it has to be now. Okay. Yeah, I, I get it. There's a lot going on right now, so you just need to go and clear your head, and when you come back, we can talk about this. When I come back, it doesn't matter. What happens? I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna be with you. What are you saying? What? What's the definition of insanity? What? When you do the same thing over and over and over again, expecting a different result. That's. That's us. Trying to make this adolescent fantasy come true. It's not a fantasy. You have my heart. It's a permanent lock. How, how many months were you sleeping with Nicholas, huh? How long was I with Maxie? Elizabeth, I chose drugs over you. Look, we, we were two teenagers alone in a church. We made a promise to each other that was supposed to last forever. It didn't. And neither did we. Done. Because you say so. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna stay in touch, okay? I'm not disappearing. That's exactly what you're doing. You're gonna leave me in the voice? No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I said I'm not gonna. That's not what this is. I'm not doing that. from someone you love one last time. Inside the pack I gave you, a fine Irish linen handkerchief, a rosary, a bitty cross of rolling wood to get you under the eyes of the wee folk without waking the watchers. When you get in the yard, Dip the rosary in St. Margaret's well. You'll know it when you see it. And then a message will come.
you have my heart. It's a permanent lock. Everything I am is in love with you. with you, Lucky. Did you hear me? I said to hell with you!